Hello students. This is your English lesson. Today we are going to solve creative writing exercise 4 from book 5. So we start our lesson. A. Read the poem by Christina G. Rossetti. See how she describes the scenery based on a picture. The wind. Who has seen the wind? Neither I nor you. But when the leaves hang trembling, the wind is passing through. Who has seen the wind? Neither you nor I. But when the trees bow down their heads, the wind is passing by. Look at the following three pictures on the different types of wind. Write a short poem of four lines each for each picture describing in detail what you would see or experience if you were there. Gust, persistent, still, slapping, whisper, forceful, absent, roaring, warm, tossing, stuffy, deafening, humid, rolling, mighty, fresh. First picture. The air was still. It was humid. It was warm and stuffy. The wind was absent today. 2. The gentle whisper of wind surrounded the house. Fresh air brushed against the trees. The leaves shook occasionally. The wind was almost negligible. 3. The roar of the wind was alarming. Its might was obvious. It forcefully tore at everything, everything reeled about in the powerful wind. B. When we compare the uniform of today's soldier to that of long ago, we will notice a vast difference between the two. However, the uniform designed for a Roman soldier served many purposes. Complete the blanks below and generate ideas on why the uniform was made that way. A Roman soldier. Atop a Roman soldier's head sits the bronze helmet. It was worn to protect him against flying arrows. This was because soldiers usually fought with bows and arrows. There were two cheek pieces that extended from the helmet. They helped to protect the soldier's face. Also, if you observe closely, you will notice a metal piece extending from the helmet itself to the back of the neck. This is a clever way of protecting his neck. His body was strong. Although strong still, he wears an armor. A Roman soldier carried a shield and a spear. Each of them served a definite and important role in a soldier's fight during a war. On his feet, he wore sandals. These sandals were made of leather. They were rather thick because they were embedded with large nails. Its purpose was to cause injuries to their enemies when they kicked them. C. Imagine you are an artist interested in drawing portraits and animals. Before drawing, you pan down a few features of the subject in question that you would like depicted in your art piece. Use the lines provided to write some sentences on your subject. For example, an old fisherman who has made his living by fishing for 45 years. His face is wrinkled with age. He has a dark complexion, a snub nose, and big eyes. 1. A great commander who had just won a battle in ancient times. He has a smile on his face and his arms are raised in victory. 2. A rag and bone man walking along the streets. He has wrinkles on his face. He has thin arms and bony fingers. 3. A lion with a broken leg lying on the ground. Its face is filled with pain. Its tail is pointed downwards. 4. A shy squirrel bounding up a tree. Its face is partly hidden by the leaves. Its tail is pointed downwards. 
5. A lady on her mobile phone making a complaint to a customer service office officer. Her mouth is open wide. Her eyes are looking furiously ahead. D. An incomplete phrase is placed at different sections of a paragraph. Based on that, create a scenario on the given phrase. For example, my parents gave me an unexpected surprise that day when I came back home from school. There was a big cake in the middle of the table and several presents on the sofa. I was astonished and rushed to kiss father and mother. I was elated to know that they actually remembered my birthday. 1. I rushed into the swimming pool without changing into my swim suit and dived straight in. The water was warm and I splashed about like a child in a bathtub. Then I noticed the people staring at me. They were pointing at me and laughing at me at my action. I smiled at them and continued swimming in water. 2. Jason has a very bad habit of using his telescope to look into his neighbor's houses. Every day after school, he positions his telescope at his bedroom window and stares at what his neighbors are doing. 3. Putting my key into the lock, I stepped into the house, feeling exhausted. Looking round, I stared at the mass. I could not believe what I saw and was shocked by it. The entire house was disorganized. Drawers were on the floor. Even the table lamp was lying on its side. I rushed to call the police. 4. I was walking home from school when I saw a man sitting by the roadside. I walked over and saw that the person was quite familiar. I bent down to get a closer look at him. He looked up. His eyes lit up immediately when he saw me because he was my uncle. 5. The painting in the middle of the room caught my eye. Below the painting was the name, the Mona Lisa, written in gold. She was looking directly at me. She had a charming smile. I felt that was the most beautiful picture I ever saw. 6. Dark clouds filled the sky and the first drop of rain fell on the leaves. The leaves rustled in the wind. The rain became heavier. Each drop crashed heavily on the ground. However, just as suddenly the rain started, the forest then resumed its quietness and peace. E. Write down your observations of the following people, describing them in detail according to their appearance, attire, and the actions they do. 1. A teacher who is teaching in class, appearance. She looks stern and unsmiling, but she breaks out into a smile once in a while. Attire. She is wearing beautiful top and trousers. She also has comfortable flat-heeled shoes. Actions. She is active as she constantly waves her arms about when she cheats. 2. A waiter serving at a restaurant. Appearance. He is neatly dressed and he has a pleasant smile on his face. Attire. He wears a white shirt and black, uh, and black pants. He also wears a black bow. Actions. He bows politely to the customers. He smiles at the customers and hands out menu to them. 3. A nurse working at a hospital. Appearance. She looks kind and gentle. Her face is filled with care and concern. Attire. A mask covers her nose and mouth most of the time. She wears white uniform. Actions. She gently helps a patient to her feet and supports her as she walks to the toilet. F. Diary writing. One day you encountered an, ex uh, an incident that was interesting and meaningful. 
you decided to write it down in your diary you may use any one of the following topics to write your diary father cooked dinner brothers bald head a heated debate in class record the incident in the space below date 16th april 2022 day sunday weather sunny dear diary today i followed nicholas to the barber he wanted to get a haircut before starting school the barber pointed to a seat at the front of the shop he carried out his task without asking from my brother he was holding the shaver dangerously close to my brother's ear by the time he was done my brother was bald i burst out laughing my brother's face was red with fear the barber was ashamed of his action or we can say deed thanks for listening for new videos don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you like my videos please share and like